Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Real TC Plays Gunner Heat PC. We're going over the M60A1 Rise Passive Night Sight. And why at night you have to use Battle Sight Gunnery. So, Battle Sight Gunnery is for you to be able to engage and hit the target out to 1600 meters without ranging it. With Sabo, with Heat, it is 1100 meters. So, the first target is a PC, so I have Heat indexed. There we are. You aim at the base of the target. You pull the trigger, and that's it. Again, base of the target. Pull the trigger. Don't know why they didn't kill it. So when you switch over to Sabo, you have to reset your range to 1600 meters. So there we go. We can see the base of the target right there. And that doesn't do anything. It's really that simple. 1600 meters for Sabo and 1100 for Heat. Again, base the target. Smoked. Fire that off. Reset the rangefinder to 1100. There we go. So to use the night sight, it's really just ranging correctly or guessing the range if you understand how far. Alright, so we are 1100, base the target, add a little bit of lead. Perfect. There we are. A little bit of lead. There you are. Alright, so we have heat index, so you have to add a little more read. There we go. Right there. Let me set the range finder for 1600. There it is. So the reason why you want to use battle sight gunnery 1600 meters and in is because of how fast it is. To me, it's even faster than laser laser rangefinder if you really know what you're doing. And the other way to tell your range is you're com always comparing targets against each other. So that target, that's probably at about a thousand to twelve hundred. That's my guess. And this one, that's at like three. Two or three. It's really close. That's like four. That's probably five or six. Oh no. That one has probably eight. This one's three or so. That one is probably. We'll change it to 1200. So it's 1100. And this tank out there is probably 12. Yep. 1200. So at night, you can use battle sight gunnery, or just pay attention to how close or far away the targets are, and you'll be able to understand exactly where it is. You'll, you'll get within a couple hundred meters when you use the M60A1 enough. It's really not that hard. It's fairly easy. Thanks for watching.